All right, here's another game for when I was playing Modern Warfare 1. And um, back to using, uh, I suppose I used the M4 in the last video too, so I guess I can't say back to, but uh, uh, first I just want to say one thing. I'm sorry if I just randomly crack up. I just got through watching the Johnny Bumblefoot and Walla Cox video, and uh, if you haven't seen that, search Wheezy's Gaming for that video, because it's just freaking hilarious. But, uh, uh, another domination game on Overgrown, almost called it Underpass, just because they remind me of each other so much. I, uh, this ended up t turning into me kind of camping in this little area here real quick. I, I, it, I'm not like this the whole video, it's just, I was honestly scared to move forward, because, yeah, every time I left, I got shot, so, uh. Hey, ACOG. That's a that that's that's nice. But uh, yeah, later on in the video, I I uh, I grow a pair apparently, so uh, I stop going behind that cooler giant container gas tank thing. I I I do know the English language. I just apparently refuse to use it. Uh. Just in case people were wondering, yes, I did prestige in this game, which is the reason I am prestiging in Modern Warfare 2, because I did enjoy it a lot. Uh, honestly, the feeling of completing challenges over and over is amazing, so uh, that's why I do it. I, uh, I mean, they give you the most overpowered weapons in the beginning of the game, so it's not like you're missing out. It's like, hey, here's a FAMAS. It's a one-burst kill gun. And you didn't have to earn it. All right. I should never really use the FAMAS that much because I hate it. Just like I hated the M16 in this game. But, uh... It's beside the point. Uh, I, I, I feel bad for the team we're playing against in this video because, uh... I mean, if spawn raping is bad in Modern Warfare 2, then what we did to this team is just downright horrible. I think the spawn switched for one guy at one point, because I don't think he snuck past us. Uh, this part, I think is the part that, is it, maybe? I don't know if this is the, yeah. This guy almost kills me, but he's trying to snipe. Then I apparently airstrike their entire team. And I'm able to make a getaway. I uh, didn't think to sh try to string the helicopters like I did in the last one because I was just thinking I was lucky to be alive at that point. So uh, I just ran with it. Let the kill streak grow. Fortunately, I don't think I had those knife fails like I did in the last video. I, I might have, but not, none that I can remember. Yeah, but this team just gets stuck back there, and I can only imagine how frustrating it was for them. This is where a guy captures C, and I'm assuming he spawned back here, just because... I don't think he snuck by us, but he might have. It's it's possible. Uh, the guy who did it, every time, yeah, it was that Killis Lance, Sand Slash guy, and every time I uh, saw their team capturing a point, it was him. So I think he was doing the best he could to try to win it by himself, but either his team just wasn't good enough or they were just too spawn locked to do anything, which is quite possible. Yeah, if you haven't guessed by the fact that I've used it in both videos, I love the M4. I, uh, it was my favorite gun in this game. And it's, I'm going to say it's a tie for my favorite gun in Modern Warfare 2. It t it's tied with the ACR, because I love the ACR. But I feel loyal to the M4 because of this game, so I uh, can't say I like the ACR more than it. This is me getting a little bit, a little bit too close to their spawn, and I pay for it because 
I knew their team was around that area and just got dragon up and it happens start trying to spam grenades but I start throwing them in bad areas uh, then yeah close quarter fight against the P90 never ends well for you because the P90 destroyed everything in this game and I'm saying that in a compliment to the P90 not in a oh P90 is overpowered sort of way I think I did hear people used to say the MP5 was overpowered, and I'm sorry. Submachine guns are not overpowered, period. I don't know what that guy was doing. That was that kill stand slash guy. Uh, I don't think he was very good in the shooting people sense, but he was the only one that I saw that could capture a point for them, so I'm not going to criticize him. I'm going to give him props for doing what he could. His team was in a bad situation, and he made the best of it that he could by trying to redeem it, but... <laughs> yeah, there was another one that bugged me. I was like, plus one? What does that even mean? And I was like, oh, right, an assist here means plus one. Yeah, I guess at this point it did finally switch their spawn so it was closer, but we've got such a lead here that it was way too little too late. We very quickly took B back, so... This was the same team that I was playing in that game on Overgrown that I posted, and, uh... They did wisen up a little. I got my helicopter and uh, they did shoot it down. I don't know. That probably happened a while ago and I'm just mentioning it now. I just feel like saying it. I tried to grenade that claymore and my teammates like, hey, you know what? I'll take it for the team. Apparently he didn't see the glowing red laser. It is funny to me just how much smaller the maps are. Uh, if you haven't noticed when I've pulled up the airstrike radar map thing, it's just so much smaller. and It, it cracked me up a little the first time I saw it. Like I, I was laughing in the video like, oh my god, really? Yeah. I'm actually glad I'm watching this again and seeing that I'm not sitting behind corners like I was there for a little bit in the beginning. I, I, I have no problems insulting myself and calling myself a douchebag for doing it. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Another airstrike that wiped out their team from some other guy on my team. Martyrdom. I really don't have a problem with that, but I still complained a little bit. And since that's the end, I'll just say, so long.